hope you're all well. So yesterday I went through JPEG images with you and how you can upload them to Design Space. I will link that in the description below. And today I'm going to go through PNG images with you. So just like JPEG images, PNGs are a flat single layer image. So they'll come in as one complete image and you have to manually change that image if you want to. Tomorrow we're going to look at SVGs. SVGs are very different to JPEG and PNGs. SVGs are multi-layered, so you can change them. Uh, you can do lots of things with SVGs. With JPEGs and PNGs, it's a little bit more difficult, but they each have their place when it comes to design space. I love working with PNGs. The reason I like working with PNGs is they are great for things like print and cut. They make it very, very easy. The other thing is that compared to JPEGs, when you bring a JPEG in, you have to remove the background. With PNGs, the background is already removed. So if we take something like this paper cut design here, if we bring it in as a JPEG, we have to come in and remove everything. So this area here needs to be removed, all the bow bits, all the bits in the flowers. It's going to take forever. With a PNG, it's already done for us. So we are going to download this image. We're just going to click on download now. You always want to save it to your computer. It makes it easier if you just open the folder here and now. With most files, you'll find they come in different files. So you've got PNG in here, there's SVG in here, there's PDF. PDF is not currently supported in Design Space. Your main files that you're going to use are JPEG, PNG, and SVG. I always pick the one I want and I move it across into my pictures. Once it's in my pictures, I can then put it in the appropriate file, so in this case PNG, and it just keeps everything neat and tidy. We can then open Design Space. Once in Design Space, you need to go to the Upload feature, and you can then upload your image. Now I must say, you can only upload one image at a time. It doesn't matter whether it's JPEG, PNG, SVG, Design Space will only allow you to bring in one image at once. Select Upload Image and then browse on your computer for the file you want to use. We're going to pick this one and select Open. As you can see with a PNG, the background is removed so it makes it nice and easy. You do still need to select your image type. I always recommend choosing complex image. It will keep your image as sharp as possible. You then want to go to continue. Because the background is already removed, we don't need to use select and erase. It's already done for us, so we simply go to continue. You then have a choice if you want to save as a print and cut or a cut image. You can change this later on in your design space canvas. It's very easy to do. I'll show you in a later video. I always save as a cut image unless I intend to use it as a print and cut. You always want to add an image name and I highly recommend adding a tag. You will never remember all your image names. I have got thousands and thousands thousands of images uploaded. Added tags means that you can search for the tag and it will bring up all the images under that tag. It just makes it nice and easy for you. Once you're happy, you can go to save. Once it's saved, it's then available in your uploaded images. You can select it and insert your image to the canvas working with PNGs as opposed to JPEGs, I just think it makes life so much easier. If I had brought this in as a JPEG, I would have had to remove everything in order to actually show the image. That can be very tricky with some images. So if you have the option over JPEG or PNG, then please choose PNG. It will make your life so much easier and it will make the whole process quicker.
please do subscribe please do hit that notification bell to be alerted of when i upload a new video as always thank you so much for joining me if you have any comments or questions please add them below and i'll see you all again soon bye